Hello friends, in this session we will be learning about the architecture and the ecosystem of Comunda 8 platform. I will be covering the architecture from two or three different perspectives like the deployment architecture, the flavors architecture, etc. So let's get started. Hello, from this perspective we can see that the uh, uh, basically, it's distinguishing between source available components, enterprise licensing components, and software as a service uh, components. So, in terms of modeling, which is the very first phase of any BPNN process designing, it gives you a web modeler, which is available as a SaaS, as well as a desktop modeler, which is available as a standalone Java client. The, both the modelers connect to the uh, have the GB client within them. So we model the process definitions. The GB client deploys to GB. GB is the process execution engine which utilizes Elasticsearch API as the database behind it. Task list operate and optimize our web consoles. Task list basically gives you it is a portal or an inbox for users to work on their tasks. Operate is all the operational knowledge about uh, processes which are deployed, uh, changing data parameters, correcting instances, inspecting instances, and all the operational mechanisms around a process instance. Optimize is for historical perspective on processes. So it gives you heat maps and other things which help you and KPIs which help you identify bottlenecks in your processes and iteratively enhance them over time. Identity coupled with key cloak is used for authentication. It's an optional component. You can deploy without the identity and the key, uh, key cloak component where separate authentication will happen. And Helm charts are used for deployment. Basically, these, those are YAML files which give all the parameters, number of pods to sp spin up, what are the memory parameters, and a whole lot of configurations. Using Helm charts, you can quickly deploy. In the next videos, you'll see how to deploy using Helm charts on Kubernetes cluster. The Cloud Console is a wrapper on top of the Comunda Web Modeler. So giving you organization management and other capabilities, some templates, rebuilt processes, etc. The central and core piece of Commanda 8 platform is the GB process execution engine, which is also called the universal process engine because of it being language agnostic. So in essence, it has client and job workers which talk via the gRPC protocol with the GB cluster, which can have one or two or more than two pods within it. The GB cluster, uh, besides the GB pods, have the GB gateway pods within it, which are load balanced. There are generally two of them, which are load balanced to the via external single IP, and Behind the scenes, as the backend Elasticsearch API is used, which serves as the data lake and audit log, as well as the operational data store for the GB process execution engine. What we are looking at here is the deployment view of the architecture, uh, basically the deployment architecture. Uh, a production Commanda 8 platform installation goes on a Kubernetes installation. Kubernetes cluster. The cluster could be local self-managed or the ones provided by Amazon or Azure or any of the cloud providers. It also supports open uh, Red Hat, uh, Redshift uh, clusters and you can deploy it there also. So at a quick glance, all the orange boxes represent Commander 8 platform components and the green ones are dependencies like external open source uh, Elasticsearch, PostgreSQL and the blue boxes represent the 
ingress gateways so by default all the command right platform components talk to each other on local host they are available directly on the machine where they are installed but to make them available to the internet or to the intranet we will need ingress components which there are two ingress components one for one it can be combined for all the components like operate task list optimize connectors or it could be separated out also so there is an alternate view of this deployment architecture this is all combined ingress and you can have separate ingress for each of the individual components also in that case instead of a single box here each of these will have a separate ingress box associated along with them now let's take a quick glance at the web consoles or the sas based consoles available for common diet platform this is just a quick glance you we will go through all of these topics in detail in later subsequent videos so here basically you this, are, this is the console which is kind of a wrapper uh, on the web client web modeler uh, component of common diet platform in enterprise versions web modeler can be installed as a standalone component also but it's embedded into the console at the SaaS version here basically you can jump to the modeler component or to the console back to the console task list component where all the tasks user tasks are available to be picked up the operate where maintenance and operational data about the process instances is available and optimize where a historical perspective to enhance the processes is available uh, we can take a look at the equivalent on-premises version consoles also for example this is the on-premises version running on a kubernetes 8 cluster the default username and password is demo 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 this is the on-premises version of the console and then we have the task list also and other components like identity and optimize also so this is a quick glance into all the web consoles available as part of the platform so that wraps up the architecture and the ecosystem and a high level overview of what we are dealing with what the animal is and then now let's see all the facets of the animal in subsequent videos and tackle them one by one so that we can actually create the animal or tackle the animal however we want to put it thank you